So in today's video, we're going to talk about all the latest drama that it's been going around about DC. There's been so much negative press this week for DC that they decide to make up some bogus story about Tom Cruise. Very interesting few topics to go over. We're going to go over the Flash movie as well because the ending apparently still hasn't changed from last time we said when it changed. So, yo, what is freaking good YouTube voice you here if you are new around here? Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we cover on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and let me know down below what is your perception of the future of the DC universe? And also, if you could check us out on Instagram at Wall Street to see the beautiful face behind and the beautiful voice. And also, if you could, check us out on Twitter. How is you, G? Right. We're going to talk about a lot of subjects in this video. So the first one was the ludicrous story that came out. Tom Cruise has seen The Flash and he loved it. Ironically, this comes out after so much bad press for DC this week. So let's not say Tom Cruise has seen Shazam 2. He loves it. Go and watch it. They decide to play Let's Promote the Flash movie, even though our Shazam movie has just come out as the time recording this, and it's doing very bad. It's predicted Sunday morning as the time recording this. It only did 11 million. 11 million on Saturday. It's projected to do 30 million domestic. It's bombing. It really, really is bombing. But let's send Tom Cruise out and make out that he loved the Flash movie. Did anyone actually read the article? Because if you read that article, and yeah, sure, bro, the Hollywood Reporter, it's a trade. Yeah, it's a trade. It's also a trade that said the Snyder Cut would never come out. So let's send Tom Cruise out. The Warner Bros. PR nightmare. It's desperation at its finest. And now, due to this article, people think that Tom Cruise is going to be Green Lantern. Warshu said that maybe two years ago, that it could potentially happen. In late February, according to several sources, Cruise had a meeting with Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zasloff, during which the Mughal mentioned how great the movie was. And then later, Tom Cruise wanted to watch it, so they let him watch it. Tom Cruise loves it. Okay, cute, very cute. Now, there's so many plot holes in this alleged situation here that why would anyone with half a brain cell believe this? So, let's break it down. As Zasloff requested, Warner Bros. sent over a copy of the movie. So, an employee went over to Tom Cruise's house mansion came over with a copy of the flash most likely on a usb or maybe on a disc we don't know the pair so this random warner bros rep is over at tom cruise's mansion chilling with him watching the flash movie and then the employee returned to warner bros with a copy this sounds ridiculous you know why because the next bit here it is said okay uk you haven't even confirmed it is said tom cruise was so taken with what he saw he called up andy machete and raved about it and said something to the effect. Okay, something to the effect. So he didn't even, this isn't even a direct quote. It, this source is made up. The Flash is everything you want in a movie. And this is the kind of movie we need right now, according to the Hollywood own sources. Well, let's remember, they also said the Zack Snyder Justice League movie would never come out. So what the freaking hell do they know? This sounds made up. So if Andy Morshetti randomly got a phone call from Tom Cruise, why didn't Andy Morshetti come out and say this? So you're saying that you heard that Andy Morshetti got a phone call from Tom Cruise and someone wiretapped this conversation and this is the best they could do. The effect of. The problem is people don't think for themselves. They really don't. And I put a tweet up about this saying this is just an act of desperation. And it will still probably do well due to Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck, but probably not due to The Flash. It is really desperate. And the amount of defense army that comes out because, oh, Tom Cruise loved it. Okay, so why didn't Tom Cruise say it himself? The act of desperation is so bad bad. So on Twitter, what's the problem? It's not like Tom Cruise is a weirdo. He's perfectly normal and definitely the guy we should base our opinions around. No, you should base your opinion around yourself. You should not base your opinion on if you're going to go watch a movie on anyone else's opinion. Wow, Tom Cruise didn't even say this. I don't disbelieve Tom Cruise hasn't seen it. He probably did watch it, but they're clutching at straws. They're getting their straws out and they're clutching at straws. They are literally clutching at straws. The Flash does not need this much PR. What should have happened is James Gunn should have responded to the article where Ben Affleck said, no, I'm definitely absolutely not directing a movie. Now, 
I do find this very interesting because there's a lot of Defense League people coming out, as I would call them, questioning the whole, oh, James Gunn didn't lie. He didn't lie. Okay. So, met with Ben yesterday precisely because he wants to direct. We want him to direct. We just have to find the right project. Ben Affleck, I have nothing against James. I just wouldn't want to go in and direct in the way they're doing it. So people are like, yeah, Ben just doesn't want to doesn't want anything to do with DC Universe plans because they suck. And then I look at my quote tweets, and these are so ridiculous. Dude, Affleck said he was done with the idea of directing DC stuff after Justice League reshoots and his Batman movie fell apart. Maybe read the full interview. All right, lad, sit down. Instead of, you know, spreading around imaginary sights and sores, doofus, point with James Gunn, hater. All right, lad, get off Twitter. What I find interesting here is, okay, Ben Affleck said he was done. He was done. He was dusted with directed. Okay, cool story, bro. Oh, look, it's a Twitter scooper. Okay, interest. You got some interesting points. So, okay, so, so directly here, this person has actually called James Gunn a liar because James Gunn tweeted this last year, responding to, could Ben Affleck direct? Met with Ben yesterday precisely because he wants to direct. We want him to direct. We just don't have to find the right project. So people are like, yeah, but maybe he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to direct a DC movie. James Gunn is not in charge of Warner Bros. Discovery. He's not in charge of Warner Bros. Pictures. He's co-head of DC Studios. What does that mean? DC Studios. That's it. Just DC stuff. Nothing to do with the other movies that Warner Bros. Pictures bring out. They really should change that name properly. It should be Warner Bros. Discovery's Pictures, but it is what it is. So I do find it funny when people quote tweet me that don't know anything. Because like, yeah, Ben Affleck said he was done with directing. No, he didn't. He said he was done with the Batman role. That's what he said after the Justice League reshoots. He said he was done with being Batman. He never said anything about directing. So this little Twitter person, you want to start reading the whole interview because you're getting your facts completely wrong. But he never said he was done with directing. He said he was done with being Batman. Standard Twitter bro. Also in the news, Zachary Levi responds to Brandon Davis. Now, this this is an interesting take. The issue I have here is if those credit scenes are never used, or never going to lead to anything, it's a bummer. Between the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker, Black Adam, Shazam 2, it felt like the DCU finally had a direction again. Then the studio decides to reset poor timing. Zachary Levi responds, never going to lead anything. Mm, says who? And then the face is the smiley. Oh, what's you throw a picture over so you can see what I mean? Like an upside down smiley face. Okay, so Shazam 2 isn't going to make money, even though it costs 100 million allegedly. But if you watched it, it definitely costs closer to 150, maybe more. So if Shazam 2 financially fails and they get Shazam 3, that'll be another movie that fails. So Shazam 2 is looking like it's not going to make money. Even David S. Sandberg is kind of hinting on it. He doesn't think it's going to do very well. So the Suicide Squad movie lost money and now James Gunn is the co-head. Now, if we get Shazam 3 with the same cast after the movie losing money again, what is going on here? They may, Pete Saffron and James Gunn may be ahead of the studio, but David Zaslav is not going to be cool with them losing money. So, yes, the Shazam character could move forward, but as for a third movie, I don't think it's possible at all. $11 million Saturday, it ain't going to make much money. I'll be surprised if it beats Black Adam. I really would be surprised if it beats Black Adam. So... Let me know. Do you think these post I mean, it is a shame. I mean, we got the face off with Henry Cavill Superman, greatest Superman ever, and Dwayne Johnson Black Adam. It's going nowhere. Realistically, there should be no post credit scene. What is the point in them? Easter eggs? Cool, but it was pointless. So also in the news. So Zack Snyder released something this week with full serve. Now what's happened is we've got a lot of wannabe Twitter insiders. Put an insider in your Twitter bio. No, that... You're not a Twitter insider if you have to put it in your bio. So, SnyderCon is coming. We've had that confirmed. There's three dates in April. And now what's happening is there's a lot of people coming out going, yo, I know exactly what Zack Snyder's going to announce at this event. It's not my place to say. I'm not going to leak it. But it's going to be a special for him. Let's be honest. Every SnyderCon, every fan interaction with Zack Snyder is special to him. I wish these people would stop making out they know what's going on. The only reason someone puts something out like this is because you don't know what's going on. You don't want to be wrong, so you're not going to say anything because you don't know anything. So, full circle could mean, yo, Zack Snyder's going to officially say he's done and dusted with the Snyderverse, and he may ask his fans to stop asking 
for the Snyderverse to be restored because he's finished with it. Option two, which is the same as the first option, but Zack Snyder comes out and tells you exactly how Justice League 2 and 3 and the rest of his plans would have played out. Option three, he goes to SnyderCon, David Zasloff comes in, James Gunn comes in, yo lads and ladettes, we're restoring everything, it's gonna be an Elseworlds story, lie! And then the whole Justice League crew comes out, Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck, they all come out saying, yeah, we're back, we're doing two and three, then that's gonna be it. Okay, that's not gonna happen, but there realistically isn't much it could be. And then obviously another option, which we already know Zach's been trying to do this for a few years is, we get Man of Steel, BVS, and Zack Snyder just seeing in selected theatres, most likely only in America, because it would be hard to do this globally, is you get a select run of Man of Steel, BVS, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. And it's most likely looking like it will be that because Zack Snyder did post a picture of Batfleck that no one else has seen. So it's kind of pointless people going, yeah, I know what it is, but I'm not going to leak it. Of course, if you know what it is, you'll leak it because you'll get more freaking clicks. We know how the internet works. Let's stop acting like that's not how the internet works. You post something because you want clicks. Otherwise, you wouldn't post something. Also in the news. So the ending of The Flash is going to set up the new universe, but not really, but kind of. So the alleged ending of The Flash movie is The Flash will run to a new universe and he's going to see Batman, but it's not going to be Ben Affleck or Michael Keaton. going to be Chris... Nah, it's not going to be Christian Bell either. It's going to be George Clooney. Now, apparently, the reason for this ending is so they can literally do everything they want or don't want and it's to prove that Barry Allen can run to a, a new timeline if he wants to but it's kind of pointless because anyone that understands the Flash knows that he can run anywhere he wants to anyway so it's not clear and apparently they don't know if they're going to use Ezra Miller going forward it all depends how well this movie does but when you see desperation going yeah Tom Cruise loved the movie and it's what the world needs right now and because Tom Cruise is seen as the saviour because Top Gun Maverick killed it. And it's interesting that people are like, yeah, Tom Cruise is going to be Green Lantern. Well, he's 50 years old. So let me get this straight. James Gunn doesn't want Henry Cavill, who is pushing 40, but he looks 35 easily. But you're saying that Tom Cruise is going to be Hal Jordan or some, or, or some kind of Green Lantern and he's over 50. Yeah, Tom Cruise is the GOAT and... He's still doing his crazy Mission Impossible movements and stunts himself where, I don't know if you've seen that clip where he rides the motorcycle off the cliff and did it like over 10 times. Yeah, he's still an OG. He's still the, the god tier when it comes to doing his own stunt. I don't think he's going to be Green Lantern. I really don't. So you're probably going to see people on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok if you're that young going, yeah, Tom Cruise is going to be Hal Jordan because he had a meeting with Warner Brothers. Okay, he had a meeting with David Zaslav, not DC Studios. A lot of people don't understand that Warner Bros. actually make a lot of movies. Not You understand that? Warner Bros. movies aren't just DC. They do a lot of the, all the Harry Potter movies, the Lord of Rings movies, Inception, Tenant. They're Warner Bros. movies, right? You understand that the studio just doesn't do DC because if they did, they'd be... Well, they're losing money anyway, but they're in debt as well. But they'd be losing money if they just did DC movies. They do a lot of other movies. So Tom Cruise could have been meeting with them for literally anything. Most likely not DC. Because if it was DC orientated, do you not think Pete Saffron or James Gunn would have been in this meeting? Well, they're kind of irrelevant, I guess, because... Like I keep saying, David Zasloff tells him what to do, and that is apparent. So I do find it pretty interesting. I really do. And I don't blame James Gunn for not actually coming out and saying anything about the Batfleck situation when he said, yeah, he wants to direct, and people so easily want to defend him. And I'm not saying who's right or who's wrong, but at the moment, it looks like Ben Affleck never wanted to direct anything. And people saying, yeah, he's changed his mind. He's changed his mind. Okay. But he said he really wants to direct something. He really wants to be involved. And people are like, yeah, but they had the meeting and he found out what, what the DC plans were, then he wasn't interested. But if he wanted to direct a DC movie, he, he would have just done that irrespectively. And he, he would have got some kind of creative control over everything. Would you not think? Let me know down below, guys. But I read a few tweets out because it does entertain me. People go, he's done. He's done with direct. No, he said he was done with Batman, but... As your boy Warstu kept telling you, he was never done. He just wasn't that happy with Joss Whedon and 
the reshoots and the old regime realistically if this was Zack Snyder continuity and if they were keeping some of the DTEU continuity I'm pretty sure Batfleck would have never gone anywhere so like always guys let me know down below what do you think about everything we've said in this video do you think it's desperation do you think it's absolute nonsense saying Tom Cruise is going to be Green Lantern and Tom Cruise had a personal phone call with Andy Machete and the Hollywood Reporters by somehow got hold of the information and then the best they can come up with he said something to the effect of The Flash is everything you want in a movie and this is the kind of movie we need in the world right now yeah okay that sounds made up to me but it comes out in June it's surely you should have got Tom Cruise yeah I just seen Shazam 2 this weekend it's freaking great he could have put a Twitter post up Instagram post or whatever but no they decide to do a movie that's coming out in the summer very very strange and also let us know what do you think about the alleged George Clooney at the end of The Flash movie and also the new universe and apparently Ezra is done apparently from what we understand on the Twitter sphere he's done so like always guys check us out on Instagram at Wall Street to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice check us out on Twitter at Wall Street G and I will catch you in another video very soon catch you later